Whenever we start out a new unit, I always do a think pair share. I like to elicit student um, initial knowledge. And what this activity that we're going to do is all about is simply picking out the ideas and the theories that you currently hold regarding these kind of circuits that we're going to be studying. Okay. Now, the activity runs like this. This is a think pair share. So we're going to work first individually, writing down our own ideas to ourselves, and we will spend three minutes on that. We will pair for five and then share for ten. Okay? And for this activity, we'll be addressing this question. We're going to imagine three circuits shown below, and I've numbered them Roman numerals one, two, and three. Okay, so we have three circuits here. The circuits each have one or two bulbs in them, and I've actually lettered them A, B, C, D, and E. And what you're going to do is you're going to imagine building these circuits. Later on, we will build them. And you're going to tell me, how do the bulb brightnesses compare? You're going to write out a, a, a sentence explaining to me the relative brightnesses of all five bulbs. That's your prediction. Your prediction is important. Mostly it's important to you. Um, the really important thing is your reasoning. When you write down, I believe that this one is brighter than this one, I need to know why. First part of it, the think part. We will take three minutes. I would like you to look at these circuits, take a blank piece of paper, and to yourself, not talking to anyone else, jot down your thoughts on which ideas, which bulbs are brighter or dimmer, and why. The important thing is the why. Why do you believe that that's so? Okay, so if you'd fire that up, we'll take three minutes as of now. This is one of those things where what you believe is more important than the right answer. So we can test all the different ideas that you have. So don't sweat getting it wrong. Just need to have a consistent story. OK, another 30 seconds. Try and wrap this up. OK, that's the first part. The first part is to elicit our personal beliefs and our own prior knowledge because that's what we want to address. Next part is we're going to find ourselves a partner. You will find yourself one partner, and the two of you will negotiate a single solution. Okay, you probably all have different brightnesses of these bulbs for different reasons. The activity is designed that way. And what I would like you to do is I would like you to spend the next um, uh, three minutes, to five minutes, probably wind up going five, to negotiate a single response between the pair of you. Now he's got reasoning and logic. Okay, now here's where you test it on each other. Through. 
Because I don't think it's, because it wouldn't have to be bypassing it, though. It wouldn't light it up. It's not bypassing. I just remember doing a test. It's not bypassing it, but it keeps it, but it's really dim, and then it skips it and tries to skip it and goes around. Okay. I mean, I have it, you know, it could be even worse. Do you have a negotiated solution? Yes. Cool. So tell me your negotiated solution. A is the brightest. Okay. And why? Because it's got all electricity going to one light bulb and it's closest to the bulb. Okay. And what did you say B and C? We think B and C would be equal yeah. brightness. Okay. And that D and E are both going to be pretty dim. But we thought maybe D might be a little bit brighter and because e. it's closer to the battery. Gotcha. So A is the brightest, B and C are equally bright, and D and E are dim, but D is slightly brighter than E because it's closer to the battery. Yes. How do B and C compare to D and E? Can you compare between the circuits, one, two, and three? Um, there's more wires going on, and I don't know. They're connecting to different pieces, like the wire from B to C in the middle. One's connected to the bottom of the light bulb, one connect, is connected to the screw-in part of the light bulb. Mm -hmm. Another one's connected to the screw-in parts, another one's connected to the bottom. So, so how does the number of wires work here? <coughs> we think that if there's more wires, it's going to kill it, right? It's going to actually hurt mm -hmm. the circuit. Okay, so your relevant criterion then are number of wires yeah. and proximity to the battery. Not necessarily how close it is, but we're saying like there's a lot more flowing through the first light bulb than would be the second one. But not necessarily conductor, <laughs> so I guess if you actually... Well, it, so it isn't how close you are for a... I guess, I guess when you actually think about it out loud, it doesn't really matter how close it is to the light bulb, because there's our conductors anyway. Yes. It's going to send so it through. Yeah, it's it's going to be a whole circuit. So then why is A brighter? Because there's only one. Well, they all should be the same, right? <laughs> well, she says there's a different number of light bulbs in the circuit. What about D and E? Are they sharing? Are they sharing the same as B and C? No. I'm going to move on and stir up some more groups. And I will call upon you for your reasoning when we do the share part. Okay, so you may want to think about wording that. How's it going, ladies? You come to a single consistent solution? Uh, so I could light D only and not A. Uh, we'll go to E's bill or it could first. bypass D completely, light E and, and, and not light D. Go right through, bypass D and go right to E, or bypass E and go straight to E. Or, or do you all have the same reasoning? No. no. Oh, cool. Even better. So tell me your reasoning and where it differs. Okay. I, th I think we've had uh, lots of good discussion. Let's try and pull some of these ideas together so that we know all the different possible kinds of logic that we have about this problem. And then what we can do is we can start doing experiments to confirm or refute certain claims. I guess what I need to know is I need to know predictions and rules and why. Uh, bulb A is going to be the brightest. A is the brightest. We think that B and C are going to be equal. Okay. Okay. It's first group. All six groups are going, so your time is coming. <laughs> Han. Um, we also have A being the brightest. Okay. Well, dimmest or not lighting, the order would be the same. And the connection to E is different. And I noticed that that actually rose with uh, the last group, the path length. Now, there was a group that spent a lot of time discussing um, the D and E um, connection. Ladies, can I call on your group? We think more along the lines that one will be dimmer than the other, okay. that they both will light. But three of us felt or thought that um, D would be brighter because it would go through the filament in D and then it would go through the wires 
it would because it's still connected to the metal E is, yeah. and then it would go through E and then go through the filament, but that would be lighter. And then one of us said that um, the electricity would pass through um, through D, go through the wires of E first, the filament in E, so that one would be brighter, and then it would go back to um, the filament in D. Okay, so D or E might not light at all. Okay, so, well, um, it looks like A is a pretty consistent winner in this, and E or D, E particularly, seems to be a pretty consistent loser in this. So what we'll do now is we will actually spend um, uh, the rest of the morning constructing these, these three circuits and comparing them. And all of these predictions aren't correct, and certainly all of these reasons aren't correct. But we will address them all and distill them down to um, a standardized, first of all, a negotiated version, and then finally a standardized with the way uh, physicists talk about it. And we will use words like resistance and current when we come to those standardized ideas.